Hi, <clears throat> it's me again, and I wanted to vlog today <clears throat> about a couple of things. Uh, my lupus and my fibromyalgia, um, I have to take chemotherapy for, and I know I've already done a chemo uh, vlog before, but I kind of wanted you to see um, how I look after I've taken my Ambien, which is the only thing that can really help me sleep. I take Ambien and I take uh, muscle relaxers, uh, Flexural, three times a day. So, kind of in a fog, and it's hard to function most days, and uh, I you know, they, they're not giving me a whole lot of other choices as far as what, sorry, uh, as far as what we could do, so, you know, my next choice, uh, I'm on, um, chemotherapy right now, but my next choice is going to be Plaquenil, which is another toxic substance to go into my body, so I'm really not looking forward to that. I've been on it before. <laughs> Yeah, being starting to work. I've been on it before, and it caused horrible um, pain in my legs, and um, it can cause problems with your eyes. It can cause you to go blind. So I really don't want to go down the black on a route if I don't have to. So um, pain, yeah, uh, there really isn't a whole lot that I can do to help it. Um, bike it in you know, once or twice a day, muscle relaxers, three times a day, morning, noon, and night, um, and ambient at night, and, you know, with a, a dose of muscle relaxer to help keep it, um, just make it work, I guess, but still, I took my ambient and muscle relaxer probably an hour or so ago, and I'm just now starting to get kind of loopy and feel like maybe I could sleep here in a little bit. Um, so I wanted to make a video and let you guys know that um, yes, the ambient does work for me, but you know, it's, I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I want to be able to lay down on my bed and put my head to my pillow and just go to sleep and wake up at a normal time and not wake up every two hours and just, you know, sleep. <laughs> What's that? So, seems so easy, you know? Why can't I do that? Why can't I just sleep? So, that has been a problem for years, actually, years now, and I'm not getting enough rest and uh, when I do get enough rest, then I wake up feeling worse. So, I will. I will say that um, I I have complete empathy for people out there that they're not sleeping. Uh, I mean, it's 3:39 a.m. right now. I should be resting. I took my chemotherapy shot uh, probably 11 and at this time I should be sleeping so I don't have to deal with the nausea but because I'm not sleeping I'm dealing with the nausea and the almost vomiting and you know the fact that if I am staying up and I'm doing those things I'm definitely not gonna get to sleep once the meds kick in I'm gonna be like mm, no I woke up out of a <gasps> Sorry, I woke up out of a um, major ambient stupor, uh, already way deep into it, just throwing up like crazy, just throwing up, and, and I'm on the ambient, so that's just like a trip, you know, you're, you're sick, you're throwing up and everything, and you're trying to sleep through it, but you can't, and, but you're still in kind of a hypnotic state from the ambient, so it makes it 
kind of crazy, you know, because you know you're throwing up, but you don't quite know where you are. <laughs> so, anyway, um, that's all I had to say about that. I just frustrated and watching other people's stuff on YouTube and how horrible that I just can't believe people don't, you know, realize that this is real. You know, I, I don't want to be sitting here every day with irritable bowel and insomnia and migraines and trigger points and neuropathy and, you know, whatever else is coming along with it. It's just, you know, some days are good, some days are bad, some days are really bad, really bad. I'm in bed two, three days. You know, I've got kids. I have three children. One's getting married next month. I can't be like this. I can't. There has to be something else. There has to be something else to help this. I can't continue, you know, my life like this. I just can't. So, but that's it. I'm trying to raise awareness and get it out there that, you know, this is going on, you know. I have lupus and fibromyalgia, and some days I don't know which one is worse. The fibromyalgia is really overtaking the lupus right now. It's totally in the lead because all of the symptoms I'm having have to do with the fibromyalgia. And, you know, I don't want either disease, but this one's winning right now. So I, uh, I was watching a video about a man talking about his wife, Lisa, and how she had committed suicide um, because her pain was just too great and her depression was too much and she just couldn't, couldn't be on this earth anymore because of the pain. And I totally, totally feel like that sometimes, you know. I want to just feel normal. And I can't. And people don't understand why. And I just want to feel better and play with my kids and interact in life and friends and do stuff. And I just can't because it's just too much. So, uh, I think that's all, and uh, uh, thank you for watching.